Hi everyone, it's Clint, not Shell. Uh, there's Shell. She just said hi. I don't know if you heard her. She's in the kitchen. She asked me to do a video today. Uh, I know we had told you that I was planning on doing a two belly bands. So what I did is, uh, as you know, I don't use pins. Uh, I'm not a big fan of pins anyway, but. So I use this Roxanne glue based it, and it's a temporary basting glue. Um, so what I did is I cut my fabric. I figured you guys didn't need to see that. So I've got this fabric, I mean, that fabric, which is in her book, of course, and, and my white. So um, I've already done these two. Um, and I'm going to make quarters out of them. Um, so I'll sew around the quarter and seam around the edges. But, but she wanted me to go ahead and this is going to be a fabric flip. Uh, sorry, I was asking her. I don't know where she is. I believe it's, this is what you call a fabric flip. Uh, so I use the same thing as the belly band. So I may, I still have just a couple more pieces of this and I, I may sacrifice um, a couple more uh, squares of this. We'll see. I don't know. I just, and there's Cubby. He's kind of being a pain in the butt right now. He's kind of driving me nuts. <laughs> and Shell's, oh, here she is. So, and this is a fabric flip, right? That is a okay. fabric flip. Uh, these were the excess, I meant to do three inches, somehow I did, I screwed up and done one three and one two and a half, which I'm actually really bad about cutting. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, uh, and glue these, nope, oh this cat's going to drive me nuts. Come here, Bubba. <laughs> Hi, honey. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Sorry guys, he's uh, he's been a pain. He was sleeping <laughs> mainly. Um, if I wince, I apologize. I'm still not able to do that dumb ten movement. So um, I just took pain pills. So hopefully it'll start kicking in pretty soon. But I really, she said, well I could do it, and I told him, well I don't mind. Uh, I know she. Well, and you like to do fabric. Yeah, I wanted to do the fabric and not like a, not the paper. So. So I'm, well, and I really, you only need it, I don't know why I did that on, you only need it on one side of your fabric, face to face, of course, so, and I'm not looking, they don't have to be perfect, because I'm thinking Shell probably will trim them down a little bit, maybe not, I don't know, like, I don't know much about these junk journal things, I just enjoy the, I'm trying to teach you now, sewing, <laughs> so, I do, I enjoy, that's my favorite part of quilting is actually the piecing. I love the piece. That's, so I'm going to let that set. I'm going to um, glue this one, put this one together, and then I will, um, I got several pieces I can sew now, so I'm going to do that so I can make sure that's, nope, that was the wrong face. There we go. I had it wasn't facing, so I'm sorry, I don't mean to sigh and stuff. It's just really gotten pretty bad. I've been trying to I've been resting. I took tried to take a nap, but my mind wouldn't settle down at going a million miles an hour. So I try to close my eyes for a little bit in here. Cats from. I'm trying to cut papers up for the journal, but I have a cat on my table. Yeah, that pain in the butt cubby is there. He needs attention. He's a pain in the butt. Sophia would not leave me alone. I meant to start this a little bit sooner, but that girl would not leave me alone. I guess I haven't. She hasn't had enough loving, I guess. So uh, <clears throat> I sat down for an hour. About trying to get get her um, loving. loving. I'll show you guys how these are gonna look. Um, I'm gonna show the first ones that I had glued. Oh, I glued these a week ago or something. I don't remember. 
Uh, and they're just glued like that. So they're going to be... Um, so I got my seam guard, my quarter inch seam. I've showed you guys that before. And I don't know if there's really any sense in showing you now. And of course, you know, this is my handy dandy singer, my hand crank. I did find, I'm, I forgot about it. I should show it to you. I don't know where it is, what but is it? that antique needle holder. Oh, it's over there. In the uh, that thing has to be close, probably 100 years old. So, and there wasn't nothing in it, but it is so neat looking. So, uh, since I'm doing the quarter inch, I really can't set back stitch on this. I have to flip it. And I really can't do that with the quarter inch seam. So I'm not going to do it. I'll let Shell um, glue, glue it. So and I might press these. We'll see how they fold. They, they seem to hold really good the last time when I did the other ones that I showed you. So. But this is what I love to do. Is just I love putting quilts together. That is just, I like the challenge of it. So, okay, let's see how these look. Not too bad. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably end up, after I get these sewn, I'll probably um, go ahead and uh, press them with an iron or something. Probably do that off camera. I think the iron's in the kitchen where it was cooling off. So. Oh, no, there it is. But with the cats, and I don't want to have to watch them, their pains. So. <laughs> so Park came in and wanted loving after Sophia wanted her loving. So I spent a little bit of time with Park and loved on him. He's been with me off and on all day. So he wasn't as needy as Sophia is, that's for sure. Yeah, she's asleep in the back bedroom now. Oh, good. She's sleeping. She's just, sometimes she just, they need extra loving. extra loving, I guess, and I, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping I won't have a horrible week this week, I got a lot to do, well, I got stuff here I want to get done, and to be honest, let me, I'm going to sew these real quick, and then I'll probably sew those, I got to figure out how I laid these out, because now I'm not 100% sure, um, I did want to show you these. I showed these to you before. Uh, I'm making quarters. So that. Uh, so what I did is I took two pieces of fabric, glued them face to face. And what you do is you go a quarter inch seam here and there all the way around. Um, and then you cut it diagonally and then you get your four quarters, four uh, squares. Uh, you can do it a different way and it involves making an X uh like this i, I don't like doing I, it i'm not very good uh, straight line sewer so this way i'm able to just use my seam guide and not have to worry about it I should have chain piece. That's what I'm going to do. Chain piece that makes life a lot 
easier. It makes it so much faster to piece your squares if you just chain them. Get them all lined up in a row and just go. Yeah, I probably could even sew these two. Let me see. So it's this side. Might as well go two birds with one stone. Good plan. That way I don't have to worry. Because these, the ones for the fabric fabric flip have to there's only one side that's sewn right now then I'll have to piece them together she always said it looked like it would be a good size just the way it was so it's still minus a half an inch so that ain't too bad so make sure I get the right side so Hope everyone had a good weekend. Is this today's video? Yep. Oh, this is Sunday, so um, I hope everyone's weekend was good. We had a good weekend. We didn't do much. Uh, I know Joe told you, Sis came over and mowed the grass and uh, Friday and I weeded, but I was in so much pain yesterday and I was like exhausted. I took muscle relaxers and pain pills and I think I slept most of the day, so. There's my rectangles for my fabric flip. Here's I'm gonna cut these loose and I'll for the other, sew the other three sides of it. Kind of a waste of thread, but I'm not I don't really I don't really care. We have so much thread. Yeah, we bought you know, we went yard selling and we got a sewing box and it had quite a bit of spools of thread in it. And, and for quilting, I only use cotton, and but the the polyester and stuff is great for the junk journals. So we have a whole pile of thread just for junk journals. Yeah, we put them in a bag so we could uh, keep track of them. Sorry guys. I'm alright, honey. I'm making it, baby. Okay. I'm not making it. Tell them what the weather was like today. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> we had I didn't know about it, but I woke up this morning at two thirty I think and it was forty 40 degrees or something like that. It wasn't too bad, but it got down to 32. And then when she woke up, she said, oh, there was a freeze warning out that was issued, but um, that's the coldest it got, so I'm, I doubt we lost any anything, you know. it. Um, we have apricots. Yeah, you know, this is the first year in 21 years we've had apricots on our trees, so... We, I know Shell was worried that I was surprised that we had a freeze warning in July June. or June. I mean, almost the end of June. Uh, it snowed quite a bit up in the mountains. Some places got a foot of snow. And then, when it's just now up to 70 outside. Yeah, that's as high as it's gotten all day is 70. It fluctuates from that down into mid 60s. So. It's beautiful. I actually put sweats on today. I was with Yeah. I'm wearing sweats as well. <laughs> yeah. I have neuropathy from my back and I get so cold now, especially my feet freeze, so 
I put on socks and sweats and put them on a heating pad. So. But yeah, it was pretty, it was beautiful. I would, wouldn't mind this weather every day in summer. But I know it's supposed to start getting warm again. They're saying it's supposed to be up in the 90s on the east slope. Um, they're saying about 85 for us, so that isn't horrible, but it isn't. <laughs> I hate, I really hate it. I all, heat makes me feel so much worse. I never feel so exhausted in the summer. Where's Paul at? Oh, did he go back and lay down? I don't know where he went. <clears throat> Is that him? Well, I was wondering since he's snooping, but it looks like that one's cut. Cubby just jumped down. Cubby so. in. That's Cubby. That was Cubby, all right. No, get out of there. Cubby Dean, quit. He's driving me nuts today. I'm not kidding. Digging in the trash. He's digging in the trash. We have a trash bucket. It, with us being on a farm, it's a feed bucket. We actually, have, I have one. That's the one where I carve in. But we also have like, we have like four of them dumb things. So, um, we use one for trash. And he's digging through it a little bit. Yeah, there's thread in there. And he's, oh, he's a pain in the butt some days. Okay, <laughs> I think I got everything sewn. So, let, oh, I forgot I do need to cut. Let me, okay, let me move this stuff back. Bear with me, please. Let me, I ain't going to bother pausing it. It ain't going to be in a second. I just need to go grab my ruler. I know where it is. I hope I do. Hi guys! I am cutting down some of the papers for the blue journal. So I'm kind of, I have to show you guys in my next video, which will be probably tomorrow's video. But I'm cutting them down in the background. You just can't see me. <laughs> I'll keep you entertained till Clint gets back. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I there was a gel move stuff on the table. He can't find what he's looking and for. And I have a hard time, which I'm okay. I'll just use that as my straight edge, and then let me find my. Oh, you know what? The, yeah, I'll do it with the rotary cutter. I think <laughs> I did it. I think last time I did it, I used the the. A pair of scissors. I think I X'd it. So. Okay, let me find my father and porter, the chalk pencil that I have. Okay, guys, I found that, but let's see. Those don't need to be cut. The only ones that actually are going to need to be cut are the two squares. So, let me. Okay, guys. No, I didn't. <laughs> oh, some days I tell you. Keep yeah, it, but keep going even if you screw up. No, how you're gonna I forgot. <laughs> okay, because these are four. There's four. In, you, this is how you make four squares, half squares. So I forgot to. Dang it! It moved on me. They're so funny. They were telling me how. When I mess up, they like to see how I fix it. So. Oh, man. You gotta keep on going. Okay, this definitely is not the right ruler for this. Where's my dang quilt ruler? Dang it. Oh, well. It won't be bad. I mean... Doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, but it's got to be better than that. I mean... Just my square clear ruler. Okay. I shall get up and it, look. You know, it might be in the... Boy, those are tiny. 
Yeah, I knew they'd be tiny. Are you kidding me? Oh, you can me? use them for a belly band. Though. Look at that. How cute. Might need more, I don't know, because them, that ain't going to be very long. If I'd known they were that small, I wouldn't have done a quarter inch seam. That's okay. There you go. Thank you, dear. Boy, them are tiny. Can you see this? Those are adorable. I, when I do my, <laughs> you know, I wasn't too sure what size these things were. Um, obviously, they were much bigger than that. <laughs> obviously, huh? So, okay, she got the camera situated, plugged in. So that doesn't work very good. I got it out of yard sale. It's probably a little warped or something. Um, she's thinking we can probably use these little dinky things on lace. Oh, uh, yeah. But I think they'll work. Like, you know, you just got to roll with it and figure it out. So she found my thing. My ruler, so. This is a, a Creative Grids. And I've had others. There's others that are yellow on the lines. This one's actually clear completely. And it just makes life a lot easier. Um, Fun filming, filming these little tiny squares together. <laughs> okay. Can we? I don't know what is up with that dang rotary cutter. Keep saying I need to put a new blade in it. Never sharpen yours. Yeah. So. Okay. Let me see what I got to do here. Uh, I, I'll probably go ahead and press all these. And try to get as much <laughs> room out of them as I can. So there's the uh, paper flip. So, so I'm going to do it opposite. So it will be like this. So I'm going to go ahead and sew it in half. I'm going to press them real quick. And then I'll sew them in half. And then go from there. I'm going to sew all these. To, or, uh, get these iron real quick. I don't think there's much sense in I would come back iron them. Yeah, I'll, I'll right just here. come back and iron them because I just don't think there's much sense in me showing you that. It's kind of boring. So I'll be back in a little bit and I'll get have these all ironed. Okay. Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got my all my stuff ironed. I love these little squares. Uh, I gotta cut the dog ears off them. But I need to, this would probably be my first thing. I need to um, get them uh, glued together. So let me put, let me do my little bit of glue on them real quick. Shells in, trying to get stuff for dinner going. Knowing you may not have to do that glue as in, in uh, might be able to spread it out a little bit. If you can see this, whenever oops, okay, I think I'm in frame. Uh, when you're when you're piecing, you see how there's you have your quarter inch seam. Um, if you put those together gather like that then they should be pretty close to being uh, right the whole way so make sure it looks like might have yep they moved a little bit I think sorry guys let's see there okay now it makes I had a little left over, and I was thinking that can't be right. There we go. Get 
that done. Okay. So, I'm going to let those sit for just a couple minutes. Um, this is my other, uh, what is it, the belly band. I'm having a hard time remembering what I was planning on doing. So, I'll probably um, just look at them and move them around and try to figure out what I was doing. Because I had, see, I'm thinking... I wanted it to continue the row, so maybe like that, maybe, and that's, I think I was thinking, that's what I thought I was going to do was like this, but that can't be right because it wasn't an L shape, so turn it this way would it not no it won't matter of course so I was would have thought I would have wanted the uh, the L's I guess it must have been this way I guess it just didn't remember so um, so by all rights this would have been right here Hmm. Now I'm a little bit confused. I know you guys will be yelling, put it there, put it there, put it there. See, I just don't see it being that way. That to me doesn't look right. So, and that doesn't look right either since you got this piece because I'm an even person so I know I would have had to oh lord let's see what that looks like see now I actually really I don't know I like this I think that's actually kind of neat right there but I am going to have a little bit left over and a little bit over there Or this way. Oh, Lord. Yeah, it's just one of those days. I'm sorry, guys. See, that's, that's the way it goes right there. That's how it's supposed to go. So, I want to... Like this. And then that's going to take my. Okay, we'll see how this looks because I just am not 100% sure. But, you know, I guess with it being a junk journal, I know Michelle says that it doesn't really matter to me. But I, I'm so. I like things to be. Drives me nuts with the thread showing. I feel bad because I don't feel like I completed it, but I know that's the way it's supposed to go. I know this is going to have. Okay. So let me. I need to sew that right there. And that will continue that line. Okay, I imagine this thing is glued, so let me put this here. Uh, I don't even know how long it's been, in all honesty, but um, the little squares, I'm going to cut the dog ears off of it, and I think Shell and I are going to kind of work together on that one and see what uh, looks um, good. There's more than the big ones, of course, so uh, I've got enough to span a piece of paper, but I just, Shell suggested uh, maybe putting them on lace and doing maybe kind of 
would remind me of maybe an argyle sock or argyle sweater. That might be kind of neat. I don't know. But we'll know when we start playing with them. So. Okay. So the fabric flip, we'll get, there was a little bit of... Uh, one piece was a tad bit longer than the other when I had cut them. I knew that. Wow. That's perfect. Boy, you don't get better than that. If you guys can see that, look at that intersection right there. <laughs> I am pretty proud of that, I must say. Good job, baby. Boy, that is. So that's the fabric flip. I'll have to <laughs> iron it. Um, I don't know what she does. I asked her what fabric flips were, and she kind of explained it to me. I didn't know if you guys backed it with a piece of paper or what not normally but i guess so Good, but. but i don't know i think it turned out kind of pretty neat i love the the blue and white so so that one is done uh let me see if this one's ready to sew i'm sure it is it probably will be okay the only bad thing is is i'm gonna have to well, I really don't have to. Let me put it right there. So I actually sewed. Uh, let's see how it works. I'm not 100 sure. Normally, you would do these in obviously in pieces but um, you'd have a different order of sewing them putting them together so you wouldn't have all the extra fabric shown either when you do it the proper way but you can't really do that with being I mean I guess I could have filled some of it in so see what I mean I mean I don't know I could go ahead and rip it out and move it a quarter inch down so in order instead of it being right here I could go ahead and uh, okay I'm gonna pause it and grab okay I got the seam ripped out and I put a little bit of my basting glue on there and so hopefully I'm gonna have it this time uh, just drives me nuts so <laughs> I was talking to Shell about the seams um, when you're doing piecing. Um, you still have your quarter inch seam on everything, so it doesn't always, if you don't sew anything on the other sides of it, then it doesn't look quite right. But uh, she asked if she was going to do the hem or if I was going to do the hem and I told her well I don't want to do it so I'm hurting too much to even think about it right now so I'm not even going to like I said I'm not going to do the little squares today me and Shelly will do that that way I can okay now that turned didn't turn out too bad oh I got, yep that was it right there so okay so then this one has to go right there in order for it to be right and now I can actually will be able to put this right there for me. and that should should be if I do that so I actually won't be able to use my quarter inch seam either so then that will be oh wait no 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 we don't do that Wait a minute. Did I? Yeah, that's right. Okay. My mind some days. I'm looking at the wrong thing. Okay. Let me. I did an iron piecing these things together. So it goes like this. So it needs to be sewn like this. And then. No. Oh, Lordy. Man, my mind is just not working today. So 
need to sew it this way, which I can use my quarter inch seam. So let me. I'm not even. I'm not gonna. Well, I probably should glue it. I guess <laughs> I wasn't going to, but I know my machine and doesn't grip the fabric even. So and I really don't want to have to rip it out again. Okay, let me make sure I'm doing this right again. That goes there like this. Okay, I think that will work. So if I sew it here, and then that one, and then I flip it. I'm going to go ahead and got to be careful with my how I do my... There we go. That, um, the, the base thing I use, it dries pretty quick, so. Yeah, see, it's going to be a little bit off, but I think I'm going to be okay with that. Let me make sure my fold is. She'll have to put some glue in the seams, I'm sure, for the thread to keep it from um, unraveling or whatever. So let's see what it looks like. Well, dang it, it's still off. Look at that. I don't like that at all. Okay, I'm going to rip this out and do it one more time. Okay, guys, I, I frogged it. Um, which is rip it, rip which it. is rip it, rip it, rip it, which, <laughs> oh, that can get frustrating at times, but I did get it to where the points are right. Um, see, here, like this, it has that over on both of those. Well, if you was to have another piece of fabric here, you wouldn't have that. It would look like it's supposed to, and, but... So, Shell is working on the pages right now, so let me, so this is what it would look like on a page. And then you uh, can slide something under it. Yeah, you can slide something in it or whatever, I don't know, whatever you guys do. Um, probably end up having to be trimmed just a little bit, uh, the length, the height of it. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty good. We'll have to press it. Um, figure out what we're going to do with the edges. I really think if it had a quarter inch seam uh, sewn on it, I think it would look nice. And uh, But like this point right here, that part, it, it could, you know, I would think it'd benefit from it. But that's what that one's going to look like. Um, let me show you the small scores to see. I didn't cut the dog ears on them. Off of them, I'm sorry. Uh... I will, but let me just do a couple and we'll see how they look on a page. I like the color of them. And like I said, we're using the fabric. All the fabric is going to be the fabric that's throughout the book. It's I didn't add. I have other blues, and I, but I didn't add any new uh, fabrics in. I'm just using the, the ones we used on it so far. I know. Um, so what, uh, you know, this is kind of what I was thinking you could even do. If you had a piece of lace, this is what I would do. I think that would look really pretty on it. And it probably will have extra. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, I think you'd want probably, um, if it was me, I would uh, do it that way so just like that oh that's cute I think I don't know if you guys can see it let me do one more dog ear and then we'll, I'll show them to you yeah if you did lace and then just like spur paper and sew it straight down the center yeah like this yeah so it has room for four 
on a page and I have four more so she can actually do two more but she can do one more belly belly band whatever you call it so let me put it up towards the camera Let's see so what we're thinking would look neat is if you was to sew it um, in the center on the lace you know I don't know how wide maybe an inch maybe maybe a little bit of half or so around there so that's what it would look I think I would go to a tan maybe because if you look at the blue it's an off white uh, and of course that's actual white white the other side it's not off color it's not cream but so a nice cream uh, ribbon I think would look neat or lace or something so that's it for today I'm getting tired and hungry and I'm ready to rest so um join us next time thank you for allowing me to, i appreciate you letting watching my videos and i enjoy doing it i enjoy showing things it's not the talk i enjoy that's for sure but um so that's it i'm gonna cut the dog ears off the rest of these so um that was the project so managed to get three things done um i don't know if she's gonna do any more fabric uh, pieces I don't know so I'm sure she'll let me know what if she wants me to sew anymore I enjoyed the fabric like I said I would rather do it than paper um, but just thank you guys so much I appreciate you watching my videos and and uh, all the wonderful comments you guys make and I will answer them even if it's three months down the road and I sit down and just <laughs> type like crazy I'm not a good typer or a good speller so that's one reason why I haven't answered them but thank you for the wonderful comments. Uh, I try to put thumbs up. You know, uh, I'm just not good at that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And um, please give us a thumbs up if you like the video. We really, I know it helps your channel out. And I guess we'll see you next time. I don't know if I, I am going to do another book cover of my design. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. I don't know how much of it will be on video. I know some of it will be, but uh, uh, I think I'm done with this blue book, I think. Shell says yes, so this should be all all I'm, all I'm, I've got to do. So uh, thank you guys. Take care, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. See you in the next video.